New tonight, Big Orange fans and players are mourning the loss of a former head football coach. You see him there on the shoulders of his players. Bill Battle died today at the age of 82. Reporter Maria Guzman spoke to some of his former players about the legacy that coach leaves on Rocky Top. I feel real good and real optimistic about it. A, a great coach, but he was a great person. It was the late 1960s and Bobby and, Scott was uh, the quarterback for UT football while Bill Battle was his wide receiver coach. He would coach you and he would tell you when you were wrong, but you never thought he was eating you out. Battle arrived to UT in 1966 as an assistant coach. He was part of two SEC championships in 1967 and 1969. And, he, you know, he worked as hard, but he worked as fair. It didn't take long before Battle became the head coach for UT football. Well, at only 28 Steve years Price, old, he became the youngest uh, coach at the time. Or anything like that, but we were, of course, fighting to get it. We had our best year when he was head coach. We were 10 and 1, 11 yep, and 1, yep. whatever it was. We only lost one game, and it was his first year as a head coach, but he ran the program really well. Defensive back Tim Priest not only played alongside Bobby Scott, the pair were also roommates and players of battle. And we're still and friends. We're, and we're still <laughs> friends. We're not. Tim spent four years on the field with him. He's 82 years old. It, it seems like he was younger than that all the time when we played for him. But uh, Battle led his team to five to straight bowls appearances. He knew uh, football and what he was doing, and he was good with people. Thank Aside you, from I the guess, wins, uh, his former athletes say it was his integrity uh, really that sets him apart. That Bill Battle was, was an honest coach. He was straight up with you. And Maria joining us now, we are seeing tributes from schools across the SEC conference tonight. Yes, Sean, Bill Battle was the former director of athletics at the University of Alabama. He held that role from 2013 to 2017. That's also his alma mater in Alabama athletics is also remembering him today. John. Maria Guzman with that tribute. Thank you, Maria.